Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you how to set up Eclipse on Mac. The first step, as always, is to go to www.eclipse.org, eclipse.org. This is the official Eclipse website. This is where we'll be downloading Eclipse. We see this giant button here, Get Started Now, Download Eclipse. So let's click that. Now, we see that the current version is Eclipse Standard 4.3.1. That's all we need is the standard one. We don't need to have anything special. And we have a couple of versions to pick from. We have Mac OS X 32-bit and Mac OS X 64-bit. Most modern Macs are 64-bit, but if you're not sure which one yours is, you can pick 32-bit with no repercussions. It'll still work fine. It might just be a tad bit slower. I know for sure my computer is 64-bit. It's got a Core 2 dual processor, so I can feel safe downloading the second one here. Hit the link to download it, and we'll come to this mirror selection page. Let's see, the default mirror is usually good enough. This one is X Mission Internet. So I can click this one. Thank you for downloading Eclipse, and a file will begin to download. Let's see, it's Eclipse Standard Kepler SR1 Mac OS X Coco x8664.tar.gz. Luckily, I downloaded it earlier. It's a, it's a fairly large download. You know, it can take a few minutes on a slow internet connection. Just double click. Archive Utility will spring open and uh, expand the zipped folder. Takes a little bit for it to do that. It's quite a bit of files it's taking out. we go, and it conveniently popped us open a finder window with the Eclipse folder. Now, if you want, you can drag and drop this Eclipse folder into your Applications folder on your computer, but you don't need to, especially if you don't have an admin on your computer. You can just leave it on your desktop right here, and everything will work fine. There's an app bundle in here. It says Eclipse. It's got our nice Orb logo. Double-click on that, and Eclipse will launch open. It'll warn you the first time Eclipse is downloaded from the internet. I'll hit open. Eclipse Kepler, that's the version. Takes a little bit for it to load, especially the first time. And it'll say select a workspace. Eclipse stores your projects in a folder called a workspace. Choose a workspace folder to use for this session. So the default one is just a folder in your documents folder that it creates for you. Check the box here that says use this as a default and do not ask again and hit OK. Once again, it takes a bit for it to load the first time, but Eclipse generally pops open in a few seconds after subsequent runs. And bam, we see our uh, Eclipse window opened up here. I already have a couple of projects, but on your machine, yours will just be blank, and it'll be ready for you to follow one of our other tutorials to load one of our sample projects, or for you to create a project on your own. Let's do that now, actually. We can go File, New, Java Project. It'll ask us for a name. Let's call it Hello World Applet. Let's not call it Hello World Applet. Let's call it Hello World Application, because that's what it is. We can just leave all the settings as the default and hit finish. Let me just close these. It's been a while since I've used Eclipse, so lots of old files that don't even exist anymore. So in this Hello World application, it's created a source folder for us. Go uh, File, New Class. This new class, we can call it Hello World Application. And check the box here that says public static void main. Hit finish. Now I'm just going to write a simple program in here to uh, test and make sure our job is working. All it is is system.out.print line hello world. Semicolon. Save this. Hit the big green play button to run it. We should see. Yep, down in the console here. Hello world. 
That's all we need to let us know that our job is running perfectly. Thank you.